Hi guys, I'm here today with a huge box. That's the E-Life Power Scrub 2, a wet and dry mop and vacuum. So it looks like very huge, but it's actually very easy to use, easy to assemble, easy to use, easy to clean, can save a lot of time and make everything looking clean and fresh again. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you how to assemble, how to use and showing you the end result. So stay tuned till the very end of the video. And so we have the huge package here with everything comes also with this nice user guide. You can see that's the brand, that's the model. And so everything is nicely described what we have, what to do, all the options, features, but I'm going to show you most of it anyway. So here on top we have the stand, then some cleaning brushes, HIPAA filter and the fluffy cleaning brush. What's great to feel that it has also some harder brushes inside. So it should be possible to remove also some harder stains. Then the telescope part with the handle and the removable battery, also a really great feature. And then of course the main device, really nice, beautiful, solid construction as far as I can see now. The power supply is permanently connected to the base station, so make sure that you're feeding the cable here through the opening so it's not cut when it's flat on the floor. And you have the option to feed it on the left side or on the right side based on where you have the power outlet. And so here we have all the parts, looks like it's very easy to assemble. And by the way, it comes also with a quick user guide. What I've noticed is that there is already a brush installed. So this is a replacement brush, absolutely perfect. So let's start first with the base. We have these two drying trays, one for the HEPA filter and one for the brush. So we just push them down here, one on the right side, one on the left side. Then we have the two tanks. We have the fresh water tank, we have the dirt water tank. So let's check first on the dirt water tank. We just squeeze here, then we can remove. And we see that we also have two HIPAA filters. We have already one installed and we have also a spare one. And how this works for cleaning, we just pull this up here. It doesn't have a release button, but it's a little bit hard to pull because of course it has a seal to make it waterproof. So that's the part which we usually flush at the end, but we can also take out the HEPA filter to clean if it's needed. So everything makes a really good impression, solid construction, well built. And so we put it back and slide it into the vacuum. And on the upper back, we have the fresh water tank. So we squeeze this and pull it out. To fill it with fresh water, we have to open this cap. If desired, we can also add a little bit of cleaning detergent. By the way, there is no detergent in the packaging, but you can use your own one. And then we have to add the battery. So we push it up, align it here. It has some nice rails. So you have to really slide it properly in here. Then push it inside and push it up. So we can hear the click. If you have to remove it, we can squeeze these two blue buttons and take it out. And so we mount here already the last part. So we push here the handle inside, push it down till you hear the clicking sound or even two times. If you have to release the handle for whatever reason, at some point you have to push here inside with a screwdriver or so and then pull the handle out. The vacuum has two positions. We have this upright position where it has a safe stand. You don't have to hold it. And then it's always on pause. So for example, if you have to remove some stuff to continue cleaning, you can put it into this position. And when you want to continue with cleaning, you step on the brush with one foot and then pull this down a little bit. Make sure that you're tilting it not more than 60 degrees because of some possible water spills. But now, of course, it's time to charge it. So we put it on top of this charging stand. And so we can see it now in the full size. Really awesome, beautiful. And here we have also a cover which we can remove. So we can see this nice screen with all the information. By the way, here we have the self-cleaning button. And here on top we have the on off, we have the mode for normal echo mode or power mode. And here underneath we have the spraying function. So if you need some water at the brush, you have to press there. And it's also recommended to push at the beginning for eight seconds to get enough water through the pipes. So we give an initial charge for 12 hours now. 
after that when the battery is empty six hours of charging is enough and then it can last for up to 25 minutes runtime in eco mode or 15 minutes in power mode after the self-cleaning the cleaning brush should be clean but of course it's always good to take it out to fully dry and to remove some hair or some other stuff which was not removed and to open the cover we pull this blue button and lift it up and then we can remove the cover and to remove the brush we pull it out here on this side you can see we have easy access we can also clean this part here a little bit if there's some dirt here then we can put it on the stand and when it's fully dry we can put it back start on the right side here and then also push it down on the left side align the cover from the front and then just push it down to the back that's it and if needed you can also pull out this strainer to wash it thoroughly and then put it back and so it didn't take too long to give a full charge you can see it's on 100% now and so I filled the clean water tank now with fresh water. By the way, this cap is really nice. I tried this also to close and you can see there is no water leaking. That's good. And so I'm adding here a little bit of cleaning agent, just a little bit. And now we are adding this mixture here from the back. What's important to know is that we can leave this lid closed because it's taking the solution from down here. You can see the opening here. So we align it here and push it inside. And so I'm back here after using almost the full tank and I've been using the whole power. And so you can see it has now recovered a lot of the dirt water, really, really dirty water. You can tell from just looking at it that there is a lot of dirt in it. So I put the machine now on the charging cradle and so I'm removing the dirt water tank. You can see no spill. I'm also going to add a little bit of new water for the self-cleaning process. And of course, before we can start the self-cleaning process, we have to remove the dirt water tank and empty that. And you can see how much dirt we have here inside. It's incredible. And it has not only picking up a lot of dirty water, but also other stuff. So the suction is really strong. And I'm back with the empty tank. By the way, the cleaning process has been really good, very comfortable, straightforward. It really worked like a breeze. You just flip it to the back, turn on the power, then select high or low and start applying the cleaning solution or the water. And then you go back and forth and usually picks up the dirt water instantly really well if you want to have it super dry then you can go over the same area again without applying some water i did that in a couple of areas where i didn't want to have people walking over the wet area and it was already perfectly dry after two or three minutes that's awesome and i've tested it even with a milk spill and it picked everything up already in the first attempt so it's amazing what it can pick up and the front is very flexible you can point it into any direction you can really go very close to the edges even underneath furniture so i'm adding also the empty dirt water tank here again and something really amazing what i wanted to show you before we do the self-cleaning process after we have been using this vacuum i show you here how this looks underneath and when we rotate the brush you can see there is not much dirt and it smells really nice there is very very little dirt here around so it looks like it has been sucking almost everything all the dirt into the dirt water tank and did not keep the dirt here that's amazing that reduces the maintenance time also a lot but we have closed now everything again and the charge is at 21 percent so let's try with the self-cleaning process so i push here let's see what's going to happen you can see there is some activity here Okay, now it's sucking everything up into the dirt water tank. Yeah, it's a little bit loud here. Of course, maximum power, not unbearable loud. I mean, the whole machine usually is not loud at all. That's the loudest thing which I have heard. But I hope you have been still able to understand me. Really nice cleaning process. Uses only about 1% of the charge. You can open, check now. You can see everything really nice, clean fresh yeah this is 
absolutely awesome. So we can take it out, put it on the cradle, let it dry. Of course, also clean again the dirt water tank and let everything dry so it's ready for the next cleaning. So this is absolutely amazing, great machine. So everything has been working really nice. Of course, we just have one brush instead of two brushes, which we see sometimes, but I didn't see a huge difference regarding the result. Also, I didn't see any cutting mechanism for hair or so but we actually don't have any hair at all anyway the only thing which doesn't work here fully automated is to apply the cleaning solution so you just have to push the trigger when it's needed but it can be also a good thing when you can decide and not the machine is going to decide so i would say it's a really good implementation everything solid i like it works very well also for maintenance everything looks good quality stable and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.